In this lecture, let's learn about the array type in MongoDB and how to work with array data. We use arrays to store a list. That list can be a list of simple types like list of strings, list of numbers, etc. Or an array can also store a list of nested documents. Here I have a JSON file and in this JSON file we have an array and this array contains a list of documents. And if you notice, each document here has this name field, this age field, this is married field and this subscription field. And it also has this address field, which is storing a list of strings. Then this document also has a purchase field. And this purchase field is again storing a list. It is storing an array. And in this array, we have a list of nested documents. So as mentioned earlier, in MongoDB, we use arrays to store a list. Now, let me copy this JSON data from here. Let's go to MongoDB shell. And there, let me first go ahead and let me delete all the documents from this customer collection. For that, I'm going to use delete many method. And to this delete many method, we can pass an empty object. And when we pass an empty object to this delete many, it deletes all the documents from a collection. So if I press enter, this delete many will delete all the documents which we have in the customer collection. So here you can see the deleted count is five. If I go ahead and if I query this customer collection now, so if I say db.customer.find and if I press enter, it should return us nothing because currently this customer collection is empty. Now let's go ahead and let's insert the documents which we copied from the JSON file. For that, let's say db dot customer dot insert many. Since we want to insert multiple documents at a time, here I'm using this insert many method. And to this insert many, let's pass the array which we copied from the JSON file. And let's also close this insert many method. Let's press enter. And you can see that five documents has been inserted in the customer collection with these customer IDs. Let's clear the shell here and let's go ahead and let's use find method on the customer collection. So these are the documents which we have in the customer collection. Now let's say from this customer collection, we want to filter all those documents where this address field contains London as its element. So this address field is basically storing an array. So we want to filter all those documents from this customer collection where the address array contains an element called London. Let's see how we can do that. So let's scroll down and here let's say db dot customer. And since we want to query a collection, we are going to use the find method. And to this find method, we need to pass a filter. And here the filter is going to be address should have an element called London. Now here, if you notice, I'm passing this London as a string. And MongoDB is smart enough to filter the documents based on this string value from this address array. So if I go ahead and if I press enter, you will notice that it has returned us two documents. This expression here, this command here, it has returned us two documents. And in both of these documents, if you notice, this address array contains this string London. Now let's say we want to filter all those customers who have purchased this product Samsung. Now, if you notice this purchase is an array and this array contains a list of nested documents here, the purchase field of last document, it contains two nested documents. So let's say we want to filter all those customers from this customers collection who has purchased this product Samsung for that. Let's go ahead and let's use the find method. And here in the filter, we will say purchase dot name and it should be equal to Samsung. And since we are using the dot notation here, let's go ahead and let's wrap this expression within double quotes. If I go ahead and if I press enter, you will notice that this expression has returned only one document. So there is only one customer who has purchased this product and that customer has been returned here. So this is how we can query a document based on the nested document of an array. Let's go ahead and let's run this command again. But this time we want to check which are all the customers who have bought this product iPhone. If I go ahead and if I press enter, you can see that now we have three documents in the result. So here the first document with the name Mary 
she has bought this iPhone product. As you can see in the purchase array, we have this product iPhone. Then this customer John, he has also bought this product iPhone. And Steve has also bought this product iPhone. So all these three documents have been returned by this query. Again, we will learn about working with arrays in great detail in the future lectures of this course. Here, I simply wanted to give you a basic idea of the array type which we have in MongoDB, what we use it for and how can we store lists in an array. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.